Hey guys, today I just wanted to talk about the new Hellcat Demon that everybody is talking about. There's a lot of speculation going on about this thing. So today I'm going to be sitting in this Scat Pack Challenger uh, Mango, just so that it's not super windy in here. There's the hood scoop, because I know everyone hates my audio and everything, because it's terrible, because I have no wind protector or anything, and it just sounds like garbage. So, anyways, so this Demon that everyone's talking about, so there's a lot of speculation going around and pictures and rumors and all kinds of stuff about this, that, and the other. And everyone's going to say, you know, just anything they can, um, you know, but there's no real facts about it yet. So, you know, um, Dodge sort of just dropped it on everybody out of nowhere. It wasn't like a thing like everybody, like there was leaked rumors about, you know, a million different things about this car. It sort of just popped out of nowhere. And, um, you know, I, I think because of that, it's not going to be a huge major difference like some people are expecting i think it's going to be the same engine from the hellcat I, I don't see them building a totally different engine for this car just because of the fact that if they did everyone would have heard it you know by now there would have been rumors and leaks about testing this engine testing that engine they're doing all kinds of stuff you know there would have been a lot more information about out it now out about it now but I just think it's going to be the same engine that's in the Hellcat right now, but they're going to have a different tune to it or maybe slight differences here and there maybe to get a little more horsepower. Now, I don't think it's going to be anything major like, you know, 900 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower like these people are, you know, saying. I think it's going to be more like, you know, about 800 horsepower. Uh, you know, it's not going to be a major increase. The Hellcat already has a ton of horsepower, and there's not really any cars that out are out there competing with it in its class. So there, it is a one-of-a-kind car, and to my knowledge, I think this car is going to be a lot like the Plymouth Superbird um, in its sales, um, and I'll get to that in a minute. I think it's going to sell a lot similar like that did back in the day. Um, there's lots of reasons I think this. You know, there's going to be main reasons being, you know, I don't see this thing jumping, skyrocketing in price. I don't think that's going to be Dodge's objective is to make this a car that nobody can afford. I think it's going to be a little bit more expensive than the Hellcat, of course, and it's going to be something that obviously everybody's going to want because it's the next best thing. But it's also going to be a car that's somewhat affordable, so you know, they're going to limit it. They're going to limit it. You're going to have to pay for that horsepower, but as far as your options and everything go, I think, you know, this car is going to be strictly a race car. I think people, when they get the Demon, they're going to miss out on a lot of the things that the Hellcat has as far as features and options go that make that more of a daily driver. I think this car is going to be strictly performance. They already said it's going to be over 200 pounds lighter than the Hellcat now. So they're going to, they're going to I think, do away with a lot of stuff that makes the Hellcat so enjoyable and nice to drive. Now, it's still going to be a cool car to drive. Now, if you look at the Super Bs a couple years ago, they made those... Um, they did weight reduction on that and they missed out on a lot of options and features and everything to make it more of a sporty car and more of a racetrack friendly car. So I think they're going to do the same with the Hellcat. They're going to do away with a lot of the stuff. There might be a next generation Uconnect as far as the radio and everything goes. It could be a smaller radio. There could be a couple other features like power seats or something that you're going to miss out on um, just to get that weight reduction because they already said they're going to change the suspension, the brakes. I'm sure there's going to be some body panels that are changed. They're saying maybe carbon fiber. So, you know, it's still not going to add up to over 200 pounds i think you're going to miss out on a couple of features just to get that extra horsepower it's going to be pretty much a street legal race car you know that's how it's going to be but you know without them um hyping up the new engine and being leaks and everything i just i don't think there is going to be another um engine it's going to be the same engine just tuned up but that's why i think it's going to sell like the Superbird. you're going to miss out on some features and people aren't going to want that as much now as far as the looks go Everyone's saying maybe a wide body kit on it. So there's also some leaks of pictures from maybe Fast and Furious trailer and a couple other things that people have seen um, where it has a wide body kit on it. Now, I don't think it's going to have that wide body kit on it because the Challenger's already wide as it is. It's already a wide car. You know, you can, it's, it's, it's tough to park for, for some people and I don't see them widening it, but so much. I mean, yes, it's probably going to be a little bit wider. It's not going to be a major difference. So I really don't think it's going to be a huge difference like in these movies. It's, it's not going to be a, you know, one of these cars that you go to the racetrack and see with a totally different body style on it. Um, it's going to be, a, you know, a little bit different because it's obviously going to have wider wheels and tires on it. But, you know, I think they're going to have to put a lot of that tire on the inside of the wheel and do something for that. Because I, I just don't see this car getting too much wider than it is right now. 
Um, as you notice, the Hellcats already have wide wheels and they have different splitters on the Challengers just to, you know, cover up that wheel a little more. So I don't see it being a major, major difference from, you know, sticking outward. Um, it's going to be slightly different, but nothing too drastic. So this body kit, if they did do the one on Fast and Furious, that'd be another reason I think it would sell like the Super Bird. But I just don't think that's going to be it. Um, like I said, I think this is going to be more of a race friendly car and less of a daily driver car. Anyone that wants the horsepower will buy it, but you're going to miss out on a couple things with it. So that's why I think it's going to sell like the Superbird. Um, it's going to get sales here and there and everyone's going to hype it up, of course. Um, but you know, years down the road, I think this is going to be one of those landmark vehicles, especially with the way they're talking about the V8 engines in the next few years. If it does go that route where they start to go more towards EPA fuel and fuel savings and everything, then, you know, it's going to be one of those cars where the engine, you know, everyone's going to want it years from now and it's going to be worth a lot, a lot of money down the road, just like the super, super birds are now the super birds. Um, the Daytona is going to be just like it, but yeah, I think the wheels are going to be tucked more inside. But um, overall, you know, that's pro it's pretty much going to be a street legal race car, I think. So, you know, if you have any ideas or opinions, drop them below, and I'll read them and everything. I'd like to see what everyone else thinks. But you know, they're dropping a new video every week, so they're going to have a couple more weeks left of that. I, I can't wait to see what it's going to bring. But yeah, I just think that's going to be the overall. Um, ob ob objectives with the um, Demon. It's going to be pretty much a street legal race car and you're going to miss out on a couple things. Now, is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. People want horsepower and some people don't want to pay for those extra features. So, you know, I'm sure you could probably get some options to it as well if you would like that. So, we'll just wait and see what it is, but I think that's what it's going to be. So, we'll just see what these next few uh, videos bring from Dodge. So, you know, drop the comments below, see what you say, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.